and the directive to have Waiguru record a statement is only the latest in a series of twists and turns in a case that has now acquired a decidedly political dimension. KTN's Joe Aguil reports on the saga, the politics and the lady court in the middle should CS and Waiguru step aside to allow investigations on the NY's stolen millions. Let's take a look at that report by Joe Aguil. For the last several months, Anwai Guru has been in the eye of a storm, painted by the opposition coalition code as the untouchable minister who can get away with anything. Alikuja kwa Runinga, akasema hakuna hata ndururu imepotea. In fact, even in the rally called by code to support the ongoing teacher strike on Wednesday, the devolution cabinet secretary was still a top headline. Juzie. At the center of the saga is the revamped and now controversial National Youth Service. This after it emerged in June this year that nearly 800 million Kenya shillings may have been lost through dubious procurements at the NYS. But I wish to confirm that from the state transactions, no money had been lost as we nipped the activities in the bud and were able to stop it before we lost any money. This latest flare-up was however ignited by yet another news conference by Waiguru earlier in the month. The DCI confirms that there was a conspiracy to defraud NYS $695,400,000 in respect of committed disputed transactions. The investigation also identified similar fraudulent payments worth 791,385,000. The latest move by the Director of Public Prosecutions now sets the stage for the next phase of a scandal that continues to provide ready political fodder for both sides as President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration grapples with multiple mid-term crises. Jogeo, KTN News.